I'm going to explain why I only look for a new trade upon the close of a candle. Let's talk about that and more right now. Hey traders, Andrew here at the Forex Trading Coach and welcome to video and podcast number 372. So I want to talk about understanding when you should look for trades and at the end I'll also give you an update on our 100% automated pattern trader software which has had another positive result again this week. So when to look for trades. It's really important because a lot of people get very very confused I had an email yesterday from somebody who said, hey, Andrew, do you ever look at a trade midway through a candle? A very easy answer. The answer is absolutely not. Why would you? Because things are not set. Things are changing all the time. So in order to simplify your trading, not only in terms of your mindset, knowing exactly what to do, lower stress, uh, having a lot more control in your trading, it also helps you to get away from your charts because if you know exactly when to look for trades, that can really help you with your longevity as a trader. And the mistake that many traders make when they get into trading, and look, I did exactly the same myself when I started trading, is that people think that they have to sit there all day watching every pip move up and down, they're glued to their charts, and although it's quite exciting to start with when you start trading, realistically, you're not gonna continue trading and have that love and that passion and enjoyment for your trading if you just are completely glued to your computer. So end of the chart or end of a candle means a lot of things. It means that you have all your, if you're trading indicators, have all your levels set. Nothing's moving, nothing's moving up and down and changing. It also means that if you're analyzing strengths and weaknesses that you can look at different pairs at exactly the same time. So it means, for example, you can trade and look at say, there's a bullish movement on the Euro US dollar. Is that because the euro is strong or is it because the US dollar is weak? Uh, and so therefore you can go to like the euro yen, euro Aussie, euro Kiwi, euro franc and look through those to actually get a good analysis overall of what's really is strong and what's weak. So it helps you with that. It helps you massively with stress levels because quite frankly, you know, it takes all that away because you're not sort of desperate to get into a trade and making mistakes with lot sizes and stop losses, especially if you trade the way that we trade where we use limit orders. So you're not even jumping in at the market straight away at that time anyway. So it really allows you to focus properly and take good high quality trading decisions with accurate position sizes without having that stress like a lot of news traders do for instance has also the benefit of allowing you to take advantage of the different uh, characteristics, different movements within the market. So what I mean by that is this. Sometimes you will see, for example, that uh, the four hour chart trades might be showing some really good examples. On other days or other weeks, you'll find the daily charts are showing really good trade setups. And so by having the ability to only look at a, a trade setup at the close of a candle, for instance, you can look when the daily charts uh, close and then open for the new day, which is 5 p.m. New York time. At that time, I look at the 12 hour charts, the eight hour, the six hour, and the four hour charts. Very, very easy to scan through several different time frames at that exact time. You don't have to be sitting there not knowing when to trade or looking at five minute charts or one minute charts or anything like that. Very, very easy to do that. So I highly encourage you to look at the close of a candle. It will massively help your trading and it will help your overall enjoyment and almost certainly it will help your results. Now talking of results, our pattern trader has had another positive week. Right now I'm up 1.2%, 100% automated uh, trading. Uh, that follows on from, I think it was about 9.5% three weeks ago. Last week when I made the video uh, on my Friday, I think I was up about 3.8%. In the end, I closed the week out about 4.5% for the week last week. This week's been certainly a lot quieter on the charts, but still it's positive. You know, it's still another positive week. So the last three weeks since I've been reporting here on these videos and podcasts, all three weeks have been positive, 100% automated trading, very, very low drawdowns as well. 
If you'd like to know more about that, we are going to be uh, keeping our membership price uh, our, our clients, coaching clients membership price open for the Pattern Trader software for the next two weeks only. And then um, that gives you the advantage to trial the system for free and then jump on board if it's for you. In two weeks time from now, which will be on Monday the uh, 13th of July, uh, we are then going to be increasing the price of the Pattern Trader software for all of my non-coaching clients. So if you're a coaching client, of the Forex Trading Coach, you're always gonna keep up that low price. If you'd like to keep and, and take advantage of that low price that the clients have access to, make sure you jump on board in the next two weeks because after then, we've done that kind of introductory special where um, people can jump on board at a low price. The price certainly will be increasing to reflect the quality of that software. So have a look on this link um, and go to tftcpatterntrader.com and as mentioned, you can take advantage of a free trial to the basic version of this incredible software. And also on that page, you can see how you can subscribe to the paid versions and allow that, uh, that incredible software to be traded on your account and go to the level three of the software where you can have the option to completely put the software onto autopilot. So I hope that helps. This is Andrew Mitchum here at the Forex Training Coach. I'll see you this time next week. Bye for now.